hi guys uh, today we are going to create our very first artificial neural network model and in this model we are going to use keras uh, fashion mnist data set which is open source library by google so let's start creating our model so at the very first beginning i am going to import a keras library so now it is imported and now i'm going to use fashion mnist data set of keras library so i can uh, import this from uh, keras so guys you can see here basically here uh, keras documentation has fashion mnist database a fashion article so i'm going to use this database uh, data set for creating my model so you can see this is label descriptions and here is search top browser pullover dress code sandal shirt no up to ankle boots so i'm going to import this data set in into my jupyter notebook so i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it here so you can see now it is uh, importing uh, actually it is downloading into the jupyter notebook so guys uh, you can see you know basically i have used a library that is from keras start data set import uh, fashion mnist so this is nothing but uh, i am importing data set from keras fashion mnist of keras library so it is downloading and it is taking some time so wait till it is downloaded completely and guys later on now this data set of fashion mnist is divided into two parts basically x train and y train and x state now here x train and y train i am using for creating my model for creating my model and x test and y test i am using for testing my model whether my model is working or not so now now this library is completely loaded so i am going to check what is x train and y train how it looks like uh, what is the image of total image in x test and x train and y train and what is the uh, pixel of images so basically i am going to check it x uh, train dot say so as you can see here uh, x train is nothing but a uh, set of 60000 images and each image is a is of 28 by 28 pixel you can see here and similarly y y train y train wait y train dot say and white y train 2 is a set of 60000 images and guys uh, now you can also check x test uh, save and guys again x test is nothing but a set of 10,000 images and each image is of 28 by 28 pixel so now we know about the uh, x train y train x test y test uh, their total number of images and uh, also image pixel so now let's start building our model so i'm going to use sequential model for my artificial neural network so first import it import first uh, from keras dot model import sequential so now i'm getting a model sequential so now guys our model is created now and uh, guys in this model i'm going to create three layer basically we know that guys in any artificial neural network there is there is always three layer first one is input layer second one is hidden layer and third one is output layer no so here i'm going to create that three layers no so first i have to import those three layers so i'm importing it from keras layers import uh, flatting so dance and activation so I say you do not know I think I know these three things uh, three words are completely new for you for you guys but uh, you need have to understand that uh, what is flatting is doing here no flatting is used for input uh, layer basically it is used for creating input layer and uh, it is nothing but guys it is doing no uh, it is converting 2d array into 1d array and uh, here I am using a dance uh, dense keyword for creating my hidden layer and output layer no basically 
and here I am using activation function to activate my neural network so let's now our three layer is imported now guys I am going to add this three layer to my model so model dot add first I am going to use add input layer so that is a uh, flatten input size and guys I am going to give this size of emotion image so which is nothing but 28 by 28 pixel and secondly I am going to add my hidden layer and this is nothing but a dense and guys here I have to give you no know, uh, total number of neurons that I wanted to you know, use for creating my hidden layers so here I am going to use 1000 neurons at this time and then I am going to use activation function no activation function so to activate my hidden layer so this is nothing but I am using a relu so guys what I am doing here uh, relu relu is nothing but it's a guys non-linear activation function so and later in this video I will talk about this but now to this video you should understand that this is nothing but a non-linear activation function and guys I am going to create one more layer that is output layer so in output layer guys you can so see you can see from this curious documentation in output there is no 10 10 10 neurons you can see here t-shirt trouser 10 so i'm going to use 10 neurons here and again i'm going to use activation function now this time i'm going to use soft soft max and uh, now guys our three layer is added to our model now we check my model summary so this is very easy summary and now you can see here you can guys see here there is three layer flatten one and then dense one and then the dense two flatten one is used for guys our input layer and dense one dense to use for hidden layer and output layer no and you can see total number of neurons no 784 neurons in input layer 1000 neurons in hidden layer and 10 neuron, uh, neurons in output layer so this is nothing but now guys our model is com uh, completely created now i'm going to compile this model before i uh, add x train and y train to my model so i'm going to compile this model first so model that compile so i'm going to use a loss function this is is first uh, categorical and then again guys cross entropy and then I'm going to use optimizer parent and I'm going to use matrix this is wait accuracy now I compiled my program completely successfully our model is compiled there is no no any error it is completely working now guys I am going to train my model by using my x train and y train so simply nothing but fit use your model fit and fit it here x train y train basically I am using 60,000 images to train my model you can see here total number of images are 60 and just it, it will take some time and guys this is nothing but this is a accuracy of my training model and this is loss so that's why it is so low 74 percent accuracy and 9 to 10 percent loss this is not the exact accuracy because later on we will evaluate the accuracy for model by using extra and y test so this is this is not the exact accuracy of model we will see check it later let it first complete it so guys this is our very first artificial neural network and guys later on in this video i will teach you the complex thing and in the next video i will talk about you know, what is the basic mathematical representation of you no know, like single neurons you no know? what is the math behind a single neuron of artificial neural network basically artificial brain so later on uh, next next video we will talk about these things um, 
In this video, we can basically I am showing you a sample you now how artificial intelligence brain, artificial neural network look like you now. So this is just a, just a sample video you now. And later on video, I will talk about deep deep things about it, and I will teach you know how this is. So now it's done. So now guys, let's evaluate our model. So I'm going to use evaluate it. That is x test, y test. So this is for no accuracy. You no, know? we are trying to know the accuracy of our model. So basically, model that evaluate is a function basically you know, which allow us to know the accuracy of our model. So you can see, see guys, you know this is zero point seven eight percent accuracy our model is. And guys, if I increase the number of neurons, you no, know, in hidden layer. If I increase the number of neurons in hidden layer, that is, if I make it ten thousand, you no. Know, then guys automatically the accuracy of our model gonna increase no in increase so now guys our model is evaluated we know the accuracy for model is that is 0.78 percent now we are going to predict no some value of x so you can see here i have uh, created my y predicted so i'm going to predict it no basically i'm going to predict it and that is y uh, predicted and I wanted to know what is uh, what is the value which is the image you no know, the image it zero next so guys this is showing you no know, something kind of 10 random values so first one is 5 and then 6 2 1 7 1 1 7 5 7 so guys you can see here you now the highest you know, basically in this situation we have to check the highest you know so i think this is 7.98 is the highest probability i know the probability is uh, this is more than one this is guys only happening you know, because i have not normalized my x and y train values you no know? so if i no normalize them and then i use them x train y train in my model then guys this will this value will show something like 0 0.79 because i have not normalized it so it is saying uh, showing me 7.998 you no know? it uh, so this is the highest probability you no know? i think this is the highest probability so let's see you know what is the image at this position so this is ninth and you can see here nine is guys ankle board nine is ankle board and now let's see Oh, I'm going to lump board whether it is right or not. Edge np and np dot r max that is y predicted and this is zero. So, so guys, this is nine. You can see here absolutely this is nine. And at nine position, you can see here this ankle board is absolutely right, working now, absolutely working. Similarly, guys, if I have to predict no like uh, at uh, five, at five, eh? and uh, what is at five? It, this is one. This is swing one no? So at five position, it is swing one. So I think this is trouser. At one, it is trouser. So basically, I'm going to use here class level for more uh, clarity so i'm going to copy some values here for a more clarity of the model so i'm going to copy this i copy it and i'm going to paste it here for labeling my product now and now i'm going to use uh, wait copy it class labels and now I'm going to paste it here. Now I see the same, you know, same exactly the same thing. It one, it uh, one is trouser, and you can see here one is trouser. Absolutely right. This is absolutely working. Absolutely working, guys. Our model is perfect. So guys, these are things you know that uh, we had to. Uh, uh, so guys, uh, so guys, this is how artificial neural network looks like and uh, and how to work and guys in next video we will talk about the neurons you know how the single neuron you know how single neuron of artificial intelligence will work and what is the math concept behind it so thank you so much and uh, thank you